friends in this session we will study about the uh, standard deviation we have to find out the standard deviation of the group data uh, with a step deviation method so here is a problem the the plus interval is, is given here 0 to 10 frequency is also given 5 10 to 20 frequency is at 20 to 30 frequency 15 30 to 40 frequency 16 and 40 to 50 frequency 6 this uh, data has been given to us now look at this formula we have to find out the sigma is the standard deviation small sigma is equal to square root of the summation of fdh square over summation of f minus summation of fda over summation of f whole square and multiplied with h after getting the square root so first of all we have to find out the dh so dh here you see dh is equal to deviation from assumed mean over class width h is the class width so h i will explain you here h h is 10 is the upper limit minus lower limit this is the class width so 10 is the class width here so we have to find out the da first the deviation from assumed mean from deviation from assumed we will get through x minus a for this we have to find out the x x is the mid value mid value how we will get we will add lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2 the average of the lower and the upper, upper limit of each term is called the mid value of the term so here we get this through here we have to find out the mid value x now what we will do 0 uh, I put some ink uh, 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5 here 10 plus 20 over 2 is 15 so this is a way to find out the uh, mid value if the class interval class width are same then what we have to do we have to just uh, note down the class width which is 10 just 8 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 10 25 25 plus 10 35 and 35 plus 10 45 so in this way we could easily find out the mid values of the uh, class intervals now we have to take uh, one assumed mean we are taking 25 as assumed we can take any value for assumed mean so da which is x minus a a is now 25 we have so x minus a x is we have 5 5 minus 25 which is negative 20 15 minus 25 is negative 10 25 minus 25 is 0 35 minus 25 positive 10 and 45 minus 25 positive 20 now we know the class width is 10 and we have to find the dh then dh is equal to da over h so da we have this minus 20 minus 10 0 10 20 and we have to divide this by h by 10 so minus 20 minus 20 over 10 is minus 2 minus 10 over 10 which is negative 1 0 over 10 0 10 over 10 positive 1 and 20 over 10 positive 2 so in this way we have got dh now we have to find out the fdh f into dh f is here we have f and dh is here so we have to multiply 5 into minus 2 5 multiplied by minus 2 it is negative 10 uh, 8 multiplied by minus 1 it is negative 8 15 multiplied by 0 is 0 16 multiply by 1 it's positive 16 and 6 multiplied by 2 is positive 12 so we have got fdh now we have to find out uh, uh, our uh, fdh square so fdh square we can get in this way uh, f into dh we know fdh we have here and we again multiplied with dh so we will get fdh square so in this way 
we could easily find out the FDH square just multiply this FDH into DH so I will explain you here again so FDH is minus 10 and this is minus 2 so minus 2 multiplied by minus 10 it is now positive 20 minus 1 multiplied by minus 8 it is positive 8 0 multiplied by 0 is 0 and 1 multiplied by 16 is 16 and 2 multiplied by 12 is 24 so this we have got FDH square now we have to make the summation of FDH square summation of FDH and summation of F summation of F we calculate 5 plus 8 13 plus 15 28 plus 16 44 plus 6 50 so we have got 50 here here we see minus 10 minus 8 it is minus 18 and 16 plus 12 which is positive it is 28 so 28 minus 16 which is positive uh, 28 minus 18 which is positive 10 okay so now we have to find out the summation of FDH square 20 plus 8 28 plus 16 uh, 28 plus 16 44 44 plus 24 uh, 68 so it is 68 now so we have got these summations now we just have to put in this formula and simplify it so we see how we will get the simplification of this now we have these values uh, summation of FDA summation of FDA square summation of FGV just have to put this thing in this formula so we get that uh, sigma is equal to square root of summation of fdh square is 68 we have and summation of f is 50 minus summation of fdh only 10 and summation of f is again 50 and whole square of this into h h we have 10 here you see h is 10 so now we simplify this 68 over 50 uh, 68 over 50 is equal to 1.36 it is 1.36 minus uh, 10 over 50 which is 0 0.2 0 0.2 and we have to make the square of this into 10 so sigma is equal to uh, 1.36 is 1.36 minus 0 0.04 multiplied by 10 so 1.36 minus 0 0.04 which will be 1.32 sigma now 1.32 multiplied by 10 we have to take the square root of this 1.32 so we make the square root of this so it is 1.148 sigma it is 1.1489 into multiplied by 10 so sigma 11.489 so this would be the uh, standard deviation of uh, given data in this way we could easily find out the standard deviation this is the standard 11.489 so one more thing i would like to tell you the mean is always greater than the standard deviation i mean to say the standard deviation always less than the mean arithmetic mean of the data so in this way we could easily find out the standard deviation what we have done here I explain you again uh, you see first of all the class interval frequency is given we just have to find out the mid values we have to add the class intervals and divide by 2 we will get the mid value 
and after getting the mid value one of the mid value we have to take assume mean as a a and we have to deviate this from x so we will get this d a deviation from assume mean we get and after getting the deviation from assume mean we have to divide it by the class width which is h h is 10 minus 0 is uh, 10 here so we have divided by 10 all the things and we have got the dh and after getting the dh we have to multiply this dh with frequency 5 so 5 into minus 2 minus 10 and this way we will get the fdh and after getting the fdh we have to again multiply this fdh with dh so we will get the fdh square in this way and we have to summation of these all three uh, summation of fdh square summation of fdh and summation of f and just put these values in this formula okay so we get uh, and simplify it uh, in a right way or we could easily find out the uh, deviation standard deviation of uh, given data